Let's get some forks put on this. Oops. So we found a nice shady little spot. And right here, believe it or not, there's a set of forks for this. Now, I'm a little skeptical because I bought these on Amazon for a couple of hundred bucks, but all the reviews say they can lift 2,000 pounds. Will they lift 2,000 pounds? We're certainly gonna find out, aren't we? So let's open this and see what we can come up with. Hey. Okay. Here is one. That's what they look like, and they mount onto the bucket. I understand. Okay, today's project is we are going to install these forks on this tractor. So, a little bit of history. I bought these forks off of Amazon for, I think, 200 bucks or 250 bucks. Um, the reviews say that they'll work fine. They're rated for 2,000 pounds. I'm a little skeptical, but we're gonna find out, aren't we? So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these on, put the stabilizers on, and we're going to pick up our shed over there and bring it over beside the fifth wheel because that's going to be the pantry for extra foods and stuff like that because it's just tight in there. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. Let's get these forks on. So how these work, this slides on the bucket right here and then you tighten it down. And then for some reason, these, let's do this now. This goes on here like this. Oh, we need to unloosen this. Okay, so, so these, this sits on here. And this one, I guess it just stabilizes it. You set your distance you want, and then you tighten it down and it stabilizes the forks from going like this. Makes sense. As long as they're not in the way of picking things up. And the unfortunate the unfortunate part of all this, all my tools are still packed, so I'm pretty limited. So over the next couple days, I'm gonna start getting my tools figured out and getting that organized. So when I start doing all these projects, it's not a cluster to find a wrench. So let's see, you threaded those up so they'll slide in. Once this is on here, we'll tighten it down and they will keep the I'm going willy-nilly. All right. And today is June the 21st. And yesterday was summer solstice. And today here in BC, it is hot. I think we're... Summer's in the 30s. Kind of nice. It's been pretty cold and rainy the last month or so so it's nice to see the sun all right let's take this one so i'm going to put this up as far as i can so that it's not in my way because this is now this allows only this much space for the forks to pick up so let's do this, this one here. There, then well, how the hell are you supposed to do this? Uh -huh. This isn't so easy, especially since I tight, I guess maybe I should have left that loose. Since I'm picking up a building, and it's about eight feet long, we're going to leave that as long as possible. So, I'll tighten these down. And Uh, 
some people did bend them, but the company, uh, you know, they proved that it was under 2,000 pounds and the company replaced them within a week. So that's pretty good. That's one of the reasons I purchased this set. So anyway, let's head over there and see if we can lift up this building. So this is the building right here. So we're gonna come in that way and try to grab it. So hang tight, I'll be right there. itself is a little bit out but the door frame closes good now so that's all I ma that's all that matters so okay let's get this out of here and get on to the next one <laughs> wait for the load of gravel today we're gonna get started on getting the gates up so have a look here so we have these gates they're powder coated the posts are already in we're going to be adding a 2x4 here to close up the distance in between the two and how we do this is mount it so they screw on here into these two hinges so we have to first figure out where we want the gate on the post and uh, I'll have to figure it out. So let's get busy. Let's take the gate over here. See what we want here. I don't want it on the ground, so we want this up about here. Okay. Right here. Make a little mark. That should be high enough. A little too high, maybe. Right here. That should be good. That should allow for... 
And maybe we'll go with the higher mark. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to drill this hole and, uh, and then we'll measure down and see. So this, you know, see this comes up. Definitely going to go with the higher mark. Okay. Now, key to this is, is drilling straight. Okay, it didn't come through, but I can see the, the little piece came through, but the big one didn't. Shit, I kind of drilled on an angle. Why didn't you guys tell me I was drilling on an angle? So, okay, that's right too. I need to mark this now. So, this way I can drill a hole through that. So we got our mark, the height we want. Now, let's take this, see what happens here. figured out the 2 by 4 thing yet, but anyway, what we're going to do now is measure the distance between these two, and then we have to drill the second hole. Well, here goes nothing. Measure twice, cut once. Measure twice, drill once. What we're gonna do is, that's the center of the column. I know this is a pretty big level. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plumb it. This was my cross mark right there. And there's the plumb mark right here. So that's where we need to drill. So let's go and drill it. There we go. Get this. We got it through now. Now I gotta do the same at the bottom. I gotta make the mark where this is. But first, I'm gonna plumb this two by four. As you can see, we're not really plumb yet. They got right there. Things will be a little bit easier. Wait a 
one hand. Put a washer. Tighten this up. Watch the gap close up there. And this gate is on its own right now. That's great. Nice and tight. Have a swinging gate. Ta-da! And they stay on their own. So. That means we did a good job on keeping it level and stuff. So that's fantastic. Now, over time, is this post gonna, you know, is this post gonna sag this way? For sure. So probably what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put something in the top around here, around here, and I'm gonna bring it down to the other post just to help support it. Okay, one down, one to go. This is great. This was pretty easy so as you can see whew, nice I want these two gates to come across level so I need to know where that height of that hinge is on that pole so I have a trick Let's go get it and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have a different laser up there. I'm not sure if you can see this. It's a green one. It's still not as bright as I wanted to, but I didn't buy this laser for that, but it's still better than the, uh, the red one. So what we need to do is measure down. I can see it here. So the mark is right there, right? Yeah, right here. Let's make a mark. Hinge, and what do we have? We have 280 or uh, 11 inches. So let's go over here. 11 inches. Right there. That's where that bolt is gonna get drilled too, so they're level. Okay, well, hang tight. We're gonna see how well this goes. Same process. Okay, well, everything is drilled and we're gonna put the dunnage down, as you can see, right here on the ground. Dunnage. Okay, well, the first one went so easy and the second one has been a bloody nightmare. And you can see uh, we're not level. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna adjust this up, turning it, and watch it come up. So it's a pretty good design. Okay, so now we're level, which looks pretty good. But you can see what my dilemma was. This post here is so crooked, but that's okay. We'll make it work. Um, and that's why they have all these bolts and nuts for adjustment. And we're tight there, tight there. So, anyway, we are 100% level, and the distance in between the gates now are, are fantastic. So that's good. So I might actually, I might actually go and lift this one up a little bit too, because it looks like it's running downhill. So. <sighs> I shut the camera off a little bit because uh, the frustration was pretty real. <laughs> anyway, we're getting it. I'm gonna do some more adjustments and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, well, there you have it. The gates are up and they are functioning. It is a little bit off, but, you know, not much to work with with straight, but hey, the gates are up and they're the same height in the center. That's pretty good now. If this settles, I'm gonna have to take this off because I did make a mistake. 
I should have put two nuts in here and not one. So there's a spare nut. So this way you can adjust. So this one has no adjustment now, but I can fix that. And we're gonna get a couple boards across there. And we have it. Okay, well, the frustrating part was I still don't have my tools. I can't access my tools yet. I I'm close. And just because I'm just trying to get the water lines in and all that stuff, I could have easily got into it, but it's just, there's so much crap in front of my box. It's, it's not funny. So we made do with what we had and they're in place. So that's awesome. So thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.